<laughs> you looked at me like you wanted me to do it. No, you do it. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the Blondest Podcast. I'm your co-host, Tyler Jacoby, and... I am the, the host, host. <laughs> Savannah. Um, And we're here for another great episode, another great Monday. We are thriving. We are doing well. And we have a little fun activity today. Let's do we it. We just came up with this on the fly. Yeah. So I'm, I googled some get to know you questions. So I'm going to ask them to Savannah and I feel like this is going to be fun. We've never done anything like this because every time we do a and a on her Instagram, it's always skincare related questions, which is fine. And obviously it makes sense why she would get a bunch of skincare related questions. But I think it'll be fun to like, you know, look at what these are like first date questions, I feel like. Mm-hmm. So and then maybe like second and third date questions too, because I don't know if I would like one of them is what is the most ridiculous nightmare you've ever had? I don't know if I'd go that far on the first so, date. I don't know what you're saying. What is I'm sorry, I'm in Trisha Peta's mode right now. You're talking so fast <laughs> and you're mumbling. I'm not Let's, mumbling. Yeah. No, you're on your phone. No, that I can still hear clearly. No, you can't. Yes, I can. How many times have I said something to you while you're on your phone and I can but I can hear the mumbles. Okay. It's just all running into one word. So enunciate, babe. What is the most ridiculous nightmare you have ever had? Yeah, see, I would, I did not know what you were saying. Yeah, so that <laughs> would, I did not say it like that. Roll the tape, roll it back. Okay, so are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. What are your hobbies? Taking baths, smelling perfumes, mm-hmm. shopping, mm-hmm. planning vacations, yeah, working. Working is, that's the definition of not a hobby. But for me, it's a hobby. It's fun for me. And then I would say um, researching like very, like random topics in depth, like and just yeah. going down like rabbit holes. At like and then, 11 p.m. at night <laughs> yeah. until 1 a.m. That, that would be it for me. <laughs> do you collect anything? Perfume. That is true. You do. I know a lot of it. Um, I think this is pretty easy answer, but what are you passionate about? Skincare. <laughs> Shocker. What is your most prized possession? Cyrus. But other than Cyrus, probably my Kelly. For now. For now. It'll change. Um... What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? Being a mother. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. See, this is why I'm not cut out to be a parent. Because I'd be like, I built a badass fucking business. (laughs) You think that, but then it would change, I promise. Yeah, that's probably true. What is on your bucket list? Shark diving. Great white. Great white shark diving. You've already done a shark dive. Yes, but great white shark diving. In Australia or... South, South Africa. Africa. Um, what is your favorite recent memory? Cyrus at Disney. I would say just one. all of it. Can't pick one. Just the whole thing. Yeah. He was in love. Yeah. Love at first sight. Um, what has been your favorite holiday? Or what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. My birthday. Yes and no. I'm just kidding. My favorite holiday, I think, is Christmas. Yeah. I think it's because, like... The decorations. Yeah. Like, it's... Savannah is a big mood, vibe, scene person. So, the backdrop of her life influences greatly her mental health. And Mm -hmm. Christmas is, like, a direct shot of serotonin to her brain. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So... Who knows you the best? You. Period. What family member are you closest to? My mom. For sure. Um, what skill would you most like to learn? Skill? Yeah. How to speak Spanish fluently. That'd be a good one. Yeah. If you ever had time to do that. I know. You got to download Duolingo. I'm 25% Hispanic and my dad's fluent and my yeah. brother's semi-fluent. 
it would be like a lot easier for you than for other people like yeah. to be able to be surrounded by people who know like if you told your dad like i'm trying to learn spanish so you can only speak in spanish to me you would learn so much faster than like someone who was trying to learn on their own yeah that's true so maybe in a little couple years or something when you have hopefully a little more time um what is the coolest place you have traveled to uh italy for sure that's that's fair what does your average weekend look like? Um, Errands. <laughs> yeah. Because I work so much, you know, and go straight home after work usually. So the weekends are like, you know, getting shit done and ready for the next week. Like we, tr- we try to have chores and we try to have the podcast. errands. We try to have the errands. Like if they're out of the house errands, we try to have them done by like afternoon. I want to go to Lush and Trader Joe's today. You're just extending our day. Left and right. I'm sorry. For tomorrow. Yeah. Are you going to sleep over tonight? No. Why? Because I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> we can talk about it after. Um, hmm. What is your earliest memory? Uh, my earliest memory, honestly, would probably be Montessori school. Yeah. That like came that. back to you though. Yeah, so Cyrus is gonna go to school where I went to school, which I won't tell you the name because stalkers. But did we talk about it last week or did we go after the podcast? I don't remember, but okay. But yeah, Cyrus is starting school at the same exact school that Savannah went to when she was a kid, and I knew my way around that bitch. I ran circles around the ladies like, and this is I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, "It's been how long since you were here?" You were like, "Like twenty two years, twenty three years, something mm-hmm. like that." And yeah, that that would make sense. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you went somewhere else though, if like it would trigger. Like, do you think if I had asked you this question before we went there, that would have been my earliest memory. That you would have said Montessori. Well, school? it's hard because I watch a lot of home videos, so I don't know what's memories and what do I know from videos that I've seen. So like that for sure, I know from memory. Yeah, but like other stuff, like it's, I watched a lot of videos of me as a kid. So that makes sense. I don't know if it's like the video memory or like the actual memory. That makes sense. What makes you unique? Um, the, I feel like I'm interviewing you for a job. I'm a hundred percent myself. I think my work ethic. I think I have. Honestly, one of the best work ethics out of anyone in the world. It's scary. I think I'm just very determined. And I I work hard. I work really fucking hard. That's what makes me unique. Yep. I work harder than anyone I know. It's true, guys. Um, Who is the smartest person you ever met? Probably Jonah. I was about to say. Has to be one of them. Yeah, Jonah. The founder of Skin Better, for sure. Yeah, genius. <laughs> um, what is one thing that instantly makes your day better? Three drinks. Three drinks. One for energy, one for hydration, and one for fun. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Or chomps. <laughs> That's silly. Ain't nothing like a meat stick that can perk you right up. Do you really find that much joy from them? Yes. Protein <laughs> I mean, is brain good. power. You are fuels a simple you. girl. It's energy. I mean, yeah, but like, so you're, but I'm thinking your answer is like, you unwrap that chomps and you are immediately like, your day is turned around. Yeah. <laughs> from taking a bite out of a chomps. Yeah, Not it from really the feeling. Is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when did you first feel like you were an adult? Um, when I bought my house. That makes sense. I was like, yep. Ain't no kid, no mo. Because before that, you felt like a kid playing spa. Yeah, literally. <laughs> makes sense. Um, whose opinion do you care most about? Myself. Good answer. All these other bitches' opinions don't mm, matter. No, not at all. <laughs> How I feel is what matters. What is the most important decision you have ever made so far? Going solo. Definitely that. Opening my own business. Yeah. It, could you imagine? I never if did that. If you were that. still working for like a plastic surgeon. I don't think I'd be in the industry. Yeah, you'd be a stay-at-home wife. Yeah. By now. 
Mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. No doubt. What do you enjoy spending money on? Perfume. And I love clothes. I love fashion. Fashion yeah. is my passion. Fashion is my passion. Um, what are you most thankful for? My family. Sweet. That includes you. What do you have coming up that you're most looking forward to? Hawaii with Cyrus. I can't yeah. wait. I want to be there right now. I'm like so excited. That's the problem with booking a trip. Like when we booked Italy, we booked it a whole year in advance. It was so, so it was, hard. Yeah, it's like... like. But I love like shopping for trips. So like right now it's fun like finding like swimsuits for him and like yeah. matching stuff for us on the beach. Like this is fun. But the problem Savannah has is like... She'll book the trip. It'll be in six months. This one isn't, but like it'll be in six months. And so she'll like immediately like get cute clothes and stuff for it. And then the closer you get, like new stuff comes out. And then it's like, oh, wait, that's cute too. (laughs) And like, then I just use my overflow for another trip. Yeah, that's true. Um, What do you wish more people understood about you? Um, this one's getting you. You had an answer for every one other one. I don't know. I feel like everyone really knows if they listen to the podcast, like they know me. But I think maybe what I wish people understood more about me. Yeah. That I didn't get handed anything. Everything yeah. was my own hard work. I think that's like the most common misconception because my parents are well off that people just assume that your parents yeah. paid for everything, which was not my case. So. I think that would be it that, you know, I did this myself. Yeah. And also, like, I think there are, are, and they're the haters, but, like, people who think you're, like, hoity-toity or, like... Oh, I think I'm better than other people. Yeah, but, like, you are, like, super humble and super... Anyone that knows me knows I'm a nice human. Yeah, exactly. I'll only mean to you and Lance. (laughs) That's true. And you're not even mean. I mean a little bit, but But so um... am I. Oh, yeah. That's what family is. Yeah. If you, like, we people can, if, that are like, I have no mean bone in my body. I'm like, lie. lie. <laughs> That's a red flag. Don't lie. Yeah. I can be a bitch sometimes. Um, What is the greatest challenge or struggle you have ever faced? The wilderness. For sure. Fair answer. It's funny because a lot of these, like, things you're answering, you guys can go back and find a whole podcast to expand on all these questions. It's true. <laughs> Um, okay. What is the most ridiculous nightmare you have ever had? Um, I would say I was locked out of a gymnasium and there are all these crocodiles eating Fitz and Millie and all my cats. And I was like locked out. I I had to watch through the window. I had a similar dream to that when I was a child. It was a reoccurring nightmare. Wow. I think we talked about that. Maybe I was on a mountain and my whole family got eaten by uh, crocodiles. That's crazy. Yeah. I wonder what it is. No, we need a dream journal. <laughs> a dream analyst. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. If your pet could talk, what do you think they might say to you? Pick Keep that water pets. on, bitch. Oh, Keep it Danala. flowing. Yeah. My cats would be like, run that sink. <laughs> <laughs> they are addicted. More water, ho. I wonder what it, what it is about the running water. That's some like I it's love not running like, water. I mean, running water is peaceful. It's, yeah, like Cyrus loves running water. Apparently, I love running water. I like it. I I vibe. Yeah. <laughs> this one's crazy. Tell me your life story in exactly one sentence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't. She even was know born, how. comma. She grew, comma. She falled, fell. Oh. Comma. She persevered. Comma. She slayed. Comma. She conquered. Comma. That's a run on sentence if I've ever seen one. She's doing the damn thing. Period. Okay, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the strangest coincidence that ever happened to you? Hmm, there's been a lot. I think, okay, do you remember when that weird thing I bought a dress? And then Hillary Duff, was it Hillary Duff or who was it that was pregnant and that she wore that dress? And then I was showing you this hotel that I really wanted to stay. 
Lindsay Lohan. It was Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Yeah. Okay, because I was so random. Yeah. And then she was staying at the resort that yeah. I had like just showed you and then wearing the dress at that resort that I had just bought without ever seeing it. And I was like, wow, what the fuck is this? And I, feel I was like, like there we're was twins. Something else too. There was like three things that yeah, were like with Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, it was so uh, weird. It was really strange, actually. I re- I will not forget that. Yeah. What is your favorite random fact? I don't have one, so don't care um, about it if you don't. A random fact is that sharks only mate with the same breed of sharks. They won't mate with other breeds of sharks. Will they kill them? No. Like yeah. a tiger shark won't, like... They won't fight another... They won't have sex with, like, a bull shark. Okay, that makes sense. They're smart. Mm-hmm. How do they know? They just be knowing. A hole is a hole. Okay, to you. Actually, how do I don't think that's how they work. I think I don't know what they do. I don't. I've never looked up shark sex. <laughs> I know, but it's not like a category <laughs> that I think's available <laughs> for anyone. <laughs> do you have a useless talent? Um, I can do this. What is that? I forget what that's called. I don't know. Double jointed. I'm double jointed. I don't think that's double. Can you do this? No. Try. I can't. Look at this. Isn't that cool? If you're watching the YouTube video, you can see. Mine's like you can't do barely. That. I don't know. Do you have to like flex your finger really hard? I don't know. It's just I can't do it on any other finger. It's just these two. Oh really? Yeah. I can't do it any other finger. Just these. That's definitely useless. So. <laughs> <laughs> um what is the strangest food combination you enjoy? I don't think I like anything like weird. Um, I'm pretty boring. I mean, I like don't think I like like anything strange. Yeah. Like ranch and pizza. Okay, that's disgusting. So. Okay. <laughs> um. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? To be able to start the clock back. Like right now, it'd be 8 a.m., but we'd already have done everything that we already have done, but we'd have more time in the day. That would be what you would want to do. Like I could just set the clock back immediately and be like, oh, it's 8 a.m., and then I still have like my whole day to do more. And so you're just never going to sleep? Yeah. Well, no. Oh, you could reset sleep. So you yeah. could like wake up after eight hours, go back eight hours, and sleep another yeah. eight hours. Like I could just like play with time <laughs> and like move time. What is your strangest irrational fear? Mm, probably someone breaking into my home and like killing me and raping me. I like used to have literal like I'd wake up in the middle of the night as a kid and be like someone's going to break into our house. So I'd stay up all night because I was like ready for them to come. Mm. I think robberies. I'm like afraid of like that. Yeah, that's fair. Describe your most eccentric family member. I don't know what that means. Eccentric is like... Use that in a sentence? Super over the top. Um, My Grammy. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> For sure, my Grammy. <laughs> Describe her. Um, Well, she's over the top. <laughs> Here's an example. So she recently came... You can tell the story. She recently came and raided your cl- oh, high yeah. school closet. My closet at my parents' house. Because it's like all this... Because when I was pregnant, I moved out. Um, not, they didn't like kick me out cause I was pregnant cause someone's going to twist that. Your house got built. Yeah. My house got built. I moved into my home and it was like all my clothes that I've accumulated over the past 24 years. <laughs> and, um, I couldn't fit any of it because it was a fucking whale when I was pregnant. So I was like, whatever, I'll just bring all the shit that fits and leave everything else and I'll just come get it eventually. But then I like my style changed and I lost a lot of weight. And anyways, so there's just all of this like hooker looking clothing that I used to wear when I was 16, 17, and 18, crop tops, sparkly mini skirts, like just crazy shit in my in that closet. And I also got a breast reduction, so none of it fits me anymore anyway because my boobs are non-existent now. They're little mosquito bites. Um, but anyways, my Grammy was trying on all those clothes, and she sent home 17 boxes of clothes from my closet to her home in Tennessee. Yeah. And my mom's like, where are you going to wear that? Like, you don't even go out. She's 86. <laughs> 
Um, and she's literally brought home a sparkly crop top with a sparkly mini skirt. So slay Grammy. Yeah. I love it for but her. But that's the definition of eccentric. Yeah, so. she's crazy, but we love her. <laughs> we do. Um, have you ever met a celebrity? Yes. Would you like to expand? I've had celebrity clients and when I went to yeah. the L'Oreal Oscar, thing, yeah. Oscars pre party. George Clooney. I did meet George Clooney. Were you starstruck? No. No. If it was like Justin Bieber, yeah. But I don't sorry, George. Don't We're really. too young for him. Yeah, like He's if it's not our era. Like if I met Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, Rihanna, like, You'd be like Jack Harlow. Okay, Jack Harlow's crazy. I cry. If I saw Jack Harlow on the street, I'd probably like want to give him $20. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Which celebrity would you like to meet? Number one. Jack Harlow. Crazy. I love you, I Jack. thought you were getting past this. No, I love him. We're um, married in another world. We're a throuple. Me, him, and Lance. What songs are on the soundtrack to your life? Ooh. Well, last week it was freaking out on the interstate yeah she sent me the song and she was like this is how i feel and i was like that's incredibly fucking sad <laughs> like broke my heart i was like sitting in bed like damn bessie's going through it like i went on spotify and you know how you scroll up you can read the lyrics yeah as it's playing and i was reading them i was like maybe i need to drive over there and give her a hug yeah um i would also say what's that one song from Lord, it's like all work and no play. Let me count the bruises. Yeah, all like, business all day. I feel like girls keeps just keeps me fun. up a level. Like, all work I don't and know no play. Let me on the new shit. Yeah. I feel Wait, like hang on. No. She the, said silent on set. Silent on the fucking set, Tyler. Goddamn. You know where we should eat? At some house because I feel like I need to poop. I've been constipated. You can provide context while I try to find the song. So our restaurant, Savannah and me, I mean, it's a very popular fucking restaurant in Dallas, but like it's our restaurant. Okay. Just trust me. We own it. And it's called Hudson House. And it's the food is so fucking good. They have like these popcorn, little popcorn chicken bites with mm-hmm. the sauce. Mm. So good. Uh-huh. I shouldn't have eaten before. Now you made me like, because I'm not hungry at all right now. But Starved. Um, And they have the French chicken. Uh-huh. So seasoned Burblanc, so well. Arugula salad. Some Parmesan. I'm not a huge fan of arugula we salad. We all know because you're deficient in all your vitamins <laughs> okay. and minerals. No, I like other salads. But like arugula, it's just like too much. You just much. like to wear green, not eat it. I don't ever wear green. This is like the first time I busted out this jacket. Okay, in two green years. bean, papa. Is it cute? It's cute. It's giving like a couch from the seventies. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, the song I found. Oh, would you finish your story? Did no. you just talk about the poop yet? No. Okay. So, but Savannah and I. So it's in like University Highland Park area in Dallas, which is like all like the stay at home rich moms. And so our theory, our running theory, is that they put laxatives in the food to. Keep all the hot skinny moms keep, coming back. Yeah, keep them coming back. Because we be keep pooping them. after we because eat there. Because I, I, I Immediately, can eat, like an hour later, I'm like ready. Like I have chronic constipation, you guys. TMI, but like it's a fact of my life. Probably because of your diet. Okay, shut the fuck up. But <laughs> anyway, it does not matter when the last time I was able to use the bathroom. This is way too TMI. But eating at Hudson House, you can bet your fucking ass that within the next two hours, you will be going to the bathroom. So, yeah, anytime Savannah and I feel like we need a colon cleanse, we go to Hudson House. Yeah, because it's yummy and it makes you poop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the song is called Still Sane from Lord. Still okay. Sane from Lord. I feel like I heard you singing the lyrics. So I feel like you bounce between that and like girls just want to have fun. Like sometimes you're like work, 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 work. And then you're like, I'm a girly pop. Let's go have fun. Yeah. You don't think so? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. I think so. Okay. But you're more definitely the Lord song. Yeah. And then I also really like um, the Subway song. It's called The Subway Song. Never heard it. Well, listen yeah, to it you've on heard it so many times at SBA. Okay. And I'm alone on the subway home. I have such... I, 
this is this is actually a problem in Savannah and I's relationship because I have horrible situational awareness or environmental awareness. Like, like so I literally could be like getting beat up by a bitch right next to him, <laughs> and he would have no idea what's yeah. happening. I'm no. not kidding. It makes me so mad. I think that's my biggest pet peeve about yeah, you. If no. I had to pick one thing, like you don't like me being late. I literally, I could have a whole, someone could be like, I want to punch you in the fucking face, you dumb cunt bitch. And Actually, Tyler wouldn't hear any of it. This, uh, that, that story has happened. So, <laughs> and I'm like, did you hear that? And he's like, what, what, what are you talking? No, I, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Or like someone will walk with like a hot pink mohawk next to us. And I'll be like, oh my God. Like, and I don't want to like say it in the moment, but I'm like, oh my God. And you say that guy started? He's like, what? What are you talking about? There could be a volcano exploding and Tyler wouldn't see it. Yeah. And so I just like live and have all these experiences all the time and hear these conversations or like someone will be having like a wild conversation near us and I'm like eavesdropping because I'm socially aware of my surroundings and Tyler will be like, oh no, I didn't hear any of that. And I'm like, he literally was just talking about how he has like five side pieces, well, side pieces <laughs> and like he's going to have anal with them all tonight and like he won't hear any of it and it'll be loud too no it's the truth ah it makes me so mad <laughs> it's, oh my god it makes me so mad I didn't because then I like don't have anyone to like shit talk with or like kiki with about like these situations like when we're in public and I'm like or like we'll be at a store and there'll be like some like wild thing happening and he'll like miss all of it I have a very New York City me- mentality in that way like I think like Cause I like basically. I'm a nosy little rat. When I, I see lived, it all. When I lived in Boston, I was in New York so much, and like I feel like you see the cra- Like I don't know. It's like I feel. But like when I got someone's so telling you they're to gonna it. fight your best friend in an elevator, okay? We're not even in an open space. We're in a fucking elevator, and this lady's like trying to fight me, and Tyler missed it all. I okay. I was in an elevator. I was drunk, and I was having a conversation with our friend. She was screaming at me in the elevator. I was. On on the edge of blackout, like I was so drunk that yeah. night. Whatever, I but don't talk in, about it. it makes me upset. Yeah, I don't like, even know how actually, it came up. Let's not remind me of my pain. I okay, don't know, how did it come up? What were we talking about? I have no idea. Anyways, moving forward. Should we move on to a part two for this? Let's do one more. Okay. Um. Hmm. What would what is your go to karaoke song, or what would be your go to karaoke song? We've never done karaoke together. Mm. Here, I have a better one. Don't you forget about me? Is that song in Pitch Perfect? I don't know. I don't watch that. What actor would you choose to play you in a biopic? Um, I would have. I want to play me. I guess Emma fucking Roberts because everyone thinks I look like her. <laughs> okay, but if it could be anyone, like if it didn't no, have to I'd, look I'd like pick her. Emma Roberts. She's a good actress. Okay, fair enough. Let's do one more. Um, what did you do as a teenager that makes you cringe now? My makeup, the way I wore my makeup, but and like flipping off the camera all the time in pictures. Like okay. I thought that was cute, and um, I think posting song lyrics. On Twitter, like really deep emotional song lyrics. You do the same shit now. He doesn't want me, but I want him. (laughs) Like that. Or like, it's snowing, rawr. That's. But that wasn't high school. I was about to say that (laughs) better have been at least fucking middle school. (laughs) Yeah. But I would say the emotional song lyrics for sure. Okay. Bye, guys. We'll see you next week. (laughs) We love you guys. We're going to do some more of these next week. This is kind of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I am. So fun. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.